Hello and welcome to our joyful cottage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd like to welcome you and I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Nancy. Recently a viewer asked me if I would share a little bit about myself, how I came to live in a mobile home and so on. So this morning I thought I would do that. Back in 2020, I went through a divorce after 10 years of marriage. Prior to that, I had been married for 37 years to the same man. He was called home to the Lord, and I was a widow for three years before I remarried. At the time of my divorce, I was living out of state, and I wanted to return to Colorado to be near my children. So as I was looking at housing options, I realized very quickly that I was not going to be able to afford to buy a traditional home. Housing costs are very expensive in Colorado. It takes a lot to buy a home, and even rentals are very expensive. Studios start at about $1,600 a month where I live. So I thought about putting a tiny home on my son's lot. He has a large lot and we would put it in the backyard. However, the town where he lives does not allow for two residents on one lot. So that was out of the question. So looking at the rental market, looking at the housing market, I started to think about a mobile home. And in particular, I was looking at mobile homes that were in 55 plus mobile home parks. I thought that would be a good option for me. So I began looking at mobile homes, working with a realtor that specializes in mobile homes. My realtor helped me find a mobile home that was in my price range. It needed some work and in particular, it needed a new roof. And this I wanted done before I would purchase the home. So I was in contract and it was at the height of COVID and it was very difficult to get anyone to even look at the roof, much less repair it. So as time went on, it was kind of longer than I wanted. And in the meantime, my realtor was ready to list this particular mobile home and we were talking about it and he said, I can get you in to see it. So I saw it before it was even listed and I immediately uh, ended the contract on the other home and entered into a contract on this one. And within a few weeks I was in. I love my home. It's got a great layout. I've done some work on it so far. I, I moved in in June of 2020. So it's been almost three years. And in that time I've upgraded the kitchen. I've put in a new furnace. I've put in a new water heater. I put steps on the back door. And I guess that's about it as far as actual improvements go. I'm currently working on the guest path. I'm upgrading that. And I hope to show you what I've done and show you some before photos as well. So my house is a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet. It, as I said before, it's in a 55 plus park. I have great neighbors. I love my life here. I do have a full-time job. I choose to work full-time. I don't have to, but I choose to work full-time because it gives me something to do and I like having the extra money and I can work on my home and afford to pay for it in cash so I don't have debt going into making repairs in my home or making improvements. A lot of the improvements in my home were done before I moved in. In mobile homes, there's vinyl covering on the walls. If you've seen mobile homes, you know what I'm talking about. And there are batten strips which cover the seams in the vinyl covering. So the previous owners had put on a brand new roof right before I moved in, which is an $8,000 value right there. They also had removed the vinyl batten strips in the walls and they had textured the walls so that they look more like a traditional home. They did this in the living room, in the hallway, the second and third bedroom, and also the master bedroom. So that was already done and I'm, I'm satisfied with, with the way that looks. Now in the kitchen, I did remove the batten strips and I used joint compound to texture the walls and to paint them. So that's been done. In the guest bath, I will do the same thing. And I will eventually do that in the 
master bath. So those are improvements I have in mind down the line. So that's a little bit about myself and my home. I have enjoyed making this video. I'd like to make more. I will show you the upgrades I made in my kitchen and I will show you before photos. Also in my bathroom, I'd like to take you along with me on my guest bath update so that you can see how I do walls and make improvements, paint the vanity and so forth. So I think that would be fun and I would enjoy doing that and having you with me. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you will give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, that helps me. I would like to make more videos. I would like to get to know you. If you would like to leave a comment and tell me a little bit about yourself, I would love that. Have you ever thought about living in a mobile home or do you live in a mobile home? I think mobile homes have gotten a bad rap and I'd like to change that. I'd like to inspire people to consider mobile homes as an alternative housing in this economy that we're living in right now. It's difficult to buy a home. It's also expensive. And I think that there are probably people out there who would enjoy mobile home living if they just think outside the box and consider other alternatives. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I hope that you'll like it and subscribe and God bless you. Take care.